Hi everyone, here's a super quick demo to show you how to make sure the data in a Notion database like this one can be made available on a WordPress page in just a matter of clicks with CSV Getter. So first thing you want to do is log into the CSV Getter platform. It's very easy to connect CSV Getter to your Notion. So you could just go ahead and press connect Notion here. You can actually select the pages that you specifically that you'd like the app to have access to. So in my case, I would like CSV Getter to access the data in the song database, which is in our page, the dev sandbox. If I press allow access, I can now basically connect to that data in the CSV Getter platform. So here I want to create a new export URL. In CSV Getter, an export URL is a, um, is a URL which will basically, when used, it will give you the data either in your Notion, Airtable, or an uploaded CSV. It will give you that data as a CSV file. The URL can also be used for other things like WordPress connection and Dropbox backups. So the data that's loaded through on this screen is a sample of the data in our database here. There's lots of things that we can do here. For example, we can just simply view our export URL, which as I say, would download all of the data as a CSV file. You can instantly export your data by just pressing export now. This will generate the file as a CSV download if you ever want a quick copy of your Notion database. Uh, but in our case, we're going to have a look at the embeddable WordPress snippets, and that's available with this button here. So there's lots of instantly copy and pasteable code, which works perfectly with a custom HTML block in WordPress. In our case, I would like to embed some cards into my WordPress. So I'll show you what these look like. We've generated some code using the CSV getter export URL. And if we switch over to preview, we can see that we have basically a bunch of cards which will represent one item in our Notion database. Now, I'm not exactly very happy with the, the order of things on these cards, but I can change that just by reselecting my data in CSV Getter. So now I've updated my CSV Getter URL so that the data will be song, artist, and genre in that order. Now, if we go over to the cards embed, we can see that with the preview, we're going to have each item on a card here. Now this code is copy and pasteable, and what's nice is that it's completely customizable as well. So if I go ahead and put this into an HTML block in WordPress, you'll see firstly that the styling of your WordPress will overtake the styling here. So when we preview, we can see that it matches the styling of the page. And the other thing about this is this is completely customizable code. So if you're not quite happy by how we've done things, you can just go ahead and edit this straight in WordPress, or you can pass this code into an AI and ask it to make the changes for you. We've got other embed available. For example, this one is just a simple table which has search, search functionality. So if we replace our code in our WordPress with this one, you can see that all our data is just made available in a simple table. And there's just so many things you can do with this custom HTML thing, and it plugs right into your Notion. So this is your live data. So you change something in Notion, and this WordPress-facing page will change as well. And that's just one of the many things you can do with your Notion data with CSV Getter. You can go ahead and query the data as well using our SQL interpreter, and you can use these URLs for just about anything, sharing data, automating stuff, sending to Dropbox, syncing with Google Sheets. There's so many things you can do. Uh, and if you have any questions about the app, then you can look at our docs, which will be in the video description. And also you can email us, and our contact email will be in the video description as well. So thank you for watching, and yes, please use the app, and if you have any questions, reach out at any time.